Okay, so the next uh, clip we're going to take a look at is this amazing block by uh, Catherine Hui. And we're going to take a, well, I'll show the clip first, and uh, then we're going to go back and study two things really carefully. Uh, so number one, what does, well, from the film, <laughs> what does it look like she sees that causes her to get in position to make this block? And then sort of what's the catalyst to uh, take the chance to go ahead and make that block? But when you watch the clip, uh, you know, watch, watch what she does and then especially watch where she's looking. So uh, it's, here's the clip. Phillips looks around to Chen for the reset. A little bit more pressure D here from traffic and there's the yeah, D that they help. needed. Okay, so here's roughly the setup on the field as um, right before uh, Chewy goes to make this block. So you'll see Cat Phillips kind of go to the um, fourth side of the field and not get the disc. Uh, and then meanwhile, Chewie's kind of come back with, with um, an offensive player like this. But as she's coming back, as I said, focus on her eyes. You'll see her looking at Cat's cut. You'll see her sort of knowing about the disc. And then she's looking over here, too, to see, to see this cut. And, and what I've talked about a lot in this game already is defenders sort of having their back to the disc. So, you know, as if she was looking over here. But her eyes are so active and as her as her as, a, as the player she's guarding is clearing uh, she is looking at what the play is and where the dangerous spots on the field are and when the cut happens uh, that knowledge lets her understand the danger so let's go back and take a look at specifically her eyes Okay, and now I want to at least give a possible explanation for how she could have known uh, that this cut was so dangerous. Obviously, this is a gamble that, that by, the time, by the time this cut starts, Chewie's not looking over at Cat Phillips anymore. I mean, she's really looking across the field. She's not even looking at the thrower. So what is the tip-off when this cut happens where she can say, hey, wait a minute, that looks really dangerous? So... The first thing, or the, the two things that I think are, number one, she sees Cat cut uh, to the wide side of the field, and whether or not she stayed with her the whole time, this cut happening here is a sign that Cat didn't get the disc, number one, and number two, it's a sign that this player is now thinking that she's going to get the disc. And that cut coming in, uh, you know, the only way that can happen is if there's problems over here in the backfield. So. Chewie's understanding what's going on on the other side of the field. That cut is just an immediate tip-off that whatever was going on over there didn't work. And look, it is a gamble. You're not always going to get the block. The disc isn't always going to go to where you were. You're going to, uh, when you take gambles like this, you're going to be beat uh, a lot. <laughs> but uh, this is an amazing example. And um, keep it in mind when, uh, either in this game or the next game, when I'm talking about people having their back to the disc, keep in mind how Chewie saw the field here.